hello viewers you're welcome to my channel please press the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we have news or video for you is very important and now let's go straight to the news at hand the headline says nigeria a country created by britain to destroy itself this is actually by lochuku nicolas Haji for family writer press international now let's go straight to the detail of this news nigeria didn't just start spoiling on the EPC. It started spoiling from the first day Nigeria was created. That is because Nigeria was never meant to progress. Nigeria was created for the interests of the British government alone. The more Nigeria continued to exist, the more the country itself distraught for the benefit of Britain. That is why Britain brought together people with completely different world view. People who instead people who instead of channeling a path to random progress they keep experiencing persistent chores britain studied the nigerian people so well hence they handed the contraption over to the north during the period of independence transition the northerners had earlier declared that they are not ready for independence three years period to independence so tell me how much people could have effectively managed the affairs of the newly independent country you must understand that in the 50s and 60s literacy level in the north was nothing to write home about yet the british jumped on the azikwe and the Bofian Wolowo, who were highly intelligent and who are highly intelligent and known what it takes to lay the modern society and handed Nigeria over to Abubakar Tafala Belewa. They wanted the new nation to fare and most importantly depend on them. Britain understand their diverse ideological culture and religious rivalry between the North, East and West, so they utilized it perfectly to their advantage no nation with such bitter rivalry will succeed without breaking into different fragments from the inception of nigeria independence the mission of northern political or fundamentalist is to suppress sorry guys is to suppress the Igbo and not to grow the nation so the north who know they can't do it can't do it alone sees and accomplish in the yoruba who have settled for the office of the most beloved slave from the headed south in this britain retained control of their colony through the back door the north gets the lion's share in a resources they contribute nothing to why the yoruba settles for the rest the east from where the entire resources comes from remain cheated marginalized and impoverished go to the eastern river and area and you will shed tears over the horrible suffering of the poverty rage inhabitant the oil population is something that can't be completely cleaned in the next 50 years it pains me when i hear people today lament that apc destroyed nigeria and it is even pains me more when pdp members especially the main players in the 16 years of Absorb administration and embezzlement start trumpeting against the misrule of their APC twin brothers. Who is fooling who? Was it not how APC members prior to 2015 election kept shouting how PDP destroyed Nigeria after the series of destruction of the country by many different military coups, including that of General Muhammad Buhari? It was PDP that the country was handed over to this PDP instead of writing a new people's constitution accepted the one which the outgoing military government handed over to them it was actually a military manual through which the military who were majorly led by northern military personnel we used to rule from the background and indeed they succeeded it is it isn't a surprise that since nigeria returned to democracy four men have ruled nigeria and two were s military general in combination of 21 years of nigerian democracy the military have 13 years for 16 years pdp known that nigerian constitution isn't working yet they protected and defended it they even wiped out 
Odi and Zaki Ibiam in the protection of the same 1999 constitution. None of those PDP players remember that Nigeria should be restructured and the constitution changed until they were sacked by same PDP members who went through and formed what they call APC. It is always good for us to know where actually the rain started beating us. When APC unleashed all their terror on Nigerians, destroying the little that PDP left behind, PDP came back promising the people of heaven on earth as to be voted back into power. They even had to employ the service of a former APC member to become their party presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, who never mentioned restructuring during his eight years in as vice president of Nigeria, now promised Nigeria restructuring if voted into power. But APC who has mastered how to use the useless 1999 constitution fortify themselves with it they first removed the chief of justice and replaced him with the ordinary sharia court judge they rigged the election and the those they couldn't rig they removed using spring court or was constitutional or was constitutional it is not surprising that since 1960 to date nigeria has not recorded any progress yet britain keep drilling oil Together with with other multinational companies, the politicians keep looting and dumping it in foreign banks. In everything, the people remain the losers. They are fooled every four years. Come 2022, 2023, some APC members will return back to PDP and start fooling the people once again, telling them how they want to remedy the country destroyed by APC. They might succeed in fooling the people and take over power, but it will be the same tale of a first state. The British government who amalgamated Nigeria know that as far as Nigeria remain one, they will continue to have vested failure or to their gain. Sadly, something is happening almost all over Africa. European countries are sponsoring bad leaders in Africa. Leaders who will open up Africa for them to loot and destroy. Have you wondered why Africa is extremely rich, yet inhabits the poorest people in the entire world? It is due to to the manipulative nature of the European colonial powers on Africa countries. Study the few good African leaders and see how they were murdered. Britain knew that dividing Nigeria and allowing Biafra to become an independent nation will not only help the people trapped inside the unworkable contraption, it will also help entire Africa to grow. That is because Biafra will spot, export their ingenuity across Africa and beyond, thereby stopping Africa from surviving through European and American S. Before you start singing APC and PDP come to T23, kindly remember that those politicians in those parties will keep destroying you unless you end Nigeria. Stop the endless vicious cycle and embrace freedom. This is from a Lechuku and Haji philosopher, teacher, and activist. Edited by Paul Inhe Chawara for Family Writer Press International. Thank you so much, guys, for being part of this news. I say, please put your comment in the comment section. Share this news. It's very important and stay blessed as you do. Cheers.